under. 25-year-old American Cal Stanley posted a 69. Overnight leader Jeff Overton, who had opened with a flawless 64, followed up with a 72 to end the round five strokes off the pace. Red Bull's Mark Webber snared pole position at the Japanese Grand Prix, beating teammate Sebastian Vettel. The Australian took advantage of a brake problem for Vettel and was 0.174 seconds quicker. Weber's poll was his first of the season and the first time he's qualified ahead of Vettel this year. It's a great track. Obviously, uh, we all enjoy driving here. Uh, the laps weren't too bad, to be honest. Uh, you always want a little bit more here and there, but uh, in general, it was pretty good. Sebastian had a problem in qualifying, so a uh, little bit of a hollow, hollow, hollow pole position, if you like, because uh, he still did a phenomenal lap. But um, yeah, I'm uh, happy to be on pole. Uh, you've got to grab the opportunities when you can and still put the laps, laps in. Vettel's closest rival, Ferrari's Fernando Alonso, only qualified eighth. Alonso must finish eighth or better on Sunday to stop Vettel from clinching his fourth world title in a row. Mercedes Lewis Hamilton will start in third from Lotus's Roman Grosjean. Realistically, it was difficult uh, or almost impossible to, to finish ahead of these guys. They've had uh, a, a much better package generally for a long, long time. So, uh, but I'm really, I think we've, we've come a long way and to be as close as we are, I think is a huge compliment to the team. Felipe Massa of Ferrari will start fifth. Timothy Bradley and Juan Manuel Marquez weighed in ahead of their welterweight title fight in Las Vegas. Challenger Marquez tipped the scales at 65.5 kilos, while title holder Bradley weighed in at 66.2 kilos. Marquez is also bidding to become the first Mexican boxer to win world titles in five weight classes. Marquez and Bradley beat Filipino great Manny Pacquiao in 2012. A look at the weather before we go. It was mainly fine today with plenty of sunshine. Temperatures varied from 26.2 to 30.2 degrees, while the relative humidity was between 50 and 79 percent. Winds were moderate east to northeasterly. Let's check on the ultraviolet reading. The maximum recorded for the day was 8. Tomorrow's UV index will be around 7. Now a look at the weather in the region. A little earlier, Typhoon Nari was about 600 kilometers east-southeast of Shisha. It's expected to move west across the central part of the South China Sea. Meanwhile, severe tropical storm Weifa was about 900 kilometers south-southwest of Iwo Jima. It's expected to move northwest across the western North Pacific. Now to the satellite images. A northeast monsoon affecting the South China coast will strengthen slightly. Here's what we can expect over the next few days. Becoming cloudy tomorrow with one or two rain patches. Temperatures will range between 25 and 29 degrees. Cloudy with rain patches in the next few days, turning slightly cooler midweek. Now for tomorrow's air pollution levels. General stations will be medium to high at 30 to 70. Roadside levels will be high to very high at 80 to 105. Finally, here's weather in other cities around the world. Some main news for Saturday night. We'll have an update in one hour. I'm Edna Zer. I'm Bolo. And I'm Britton Clinton. Thanks for watching ATV. Good night. Good night. night. Coming up, check in current news made in Germany. Relying on junk. Is it possible to convert an abandoned factory base into a comfortable and high-end loft? Seven people take on the challenge. They have to find junk, figure out how to build it, and learn to cooperate. Is it a mission impossible? Documentary World, Junk Raiders, Sunday night at 9.
Singapore, one of the world's most competitive societies. There, parents see the value in investing in good early childhood education. I want to be a billionaire. A belly dancer for single. Entering a prestigious school is the first step for success. No parents would think it's too early to learn. Documentary World. Being a child. Monday night at nine. Time to become a man. The Makishi demons are coming to catch young boys. The traditional celebration starts. Though life is hard, spirit and tradition never die. All about documentary, living cultures, Monday night at 10. What drives hundreds and thousands of people to come together as one, coming across country, take a bath in the Holy River to pray for spiritual healing, mark the new year in their sacred procession? Behind the fascinating gathering, there is a spiritual world only belonging to these believers. Documentary world. One in a million. Tuesday night at nine. Living in foreign countries. It sounds daunting, doesn't it? Hi, and welcome to Bollywood Saturday Night. But it could also be exciting. For these people, they're living in a place where dreams and happiness can be reached. Now they call it